Well, I think that we are in a context where uh, anti-imperialist movements exist all over the world, but unfortunately there is no coordination of these movements. If you look carefully, imperialist forces, they all coordinate. Look at the Venezuelan case. The, the European Union, the USA, Canada, all these countries align themselves you know, against the Global South. In the case of Venezuela, it's very obvious. So they have a global coordination of imperialist efforts, but in the anti-imperialist struggles and in the Global South, we're fragmented. So this assembly is a fundamental uh, organization and foundation to create a global movement, anti-imperialist movement, that is going to coordinate the struggle against the imperialist forces. If they coordinate, we have to coordinate too. Es necesaria la gran contraofensiva de los pueblos. No podemos dejar a Venezuela sola. What is at stake in Venezuela, I think, is this is the epicenter of anti-imperialist struggle. Whatever happened in Venezuela now is going to have long-term consequences. In case they destroy Venezuela, it's going to have major, major consequences, negative consequences for the struggles of liberation of the people in the global south. That's why we need to you know, basically back up Venezuela in a strong way in this moment. We have to have to make sure that Venezuela wins the struggle against imperialism. Unfortunately, the left at a global scale is not at the level it should be. There is a lot of people in the left and a lot of movement that are having doubts about Venezuela in a very, very stupid way because they're basically believing the lies that are circulating in the global media. So uh, they're really taking side with imperialism in a context that we need all the people of the world taking side with the Venezuela today.